Taya is Destiny. And yes, Liv's wife. She actually has her oldest three children right now. And it looks like she's had them since yesterday. A lot of people were thinking that she didn't have rights to the children anymore and she couldn't even see them, but it looks like maybe that's not true. I'm thinking she just gets the same visitation that she usually would get during the school year, which is probably weekends and holidays. And then in the summer, it looks like she gets them. She went live cleaning the house. All the kids were there. I didn't see Robin, but she did say she was asleep. And once again, she talked about her dirty neighbors and she's figured out what she has to do. So if you're ready to get into all of that, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you are new. And don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you are notified every single time I post. Mommy has to go out there and clean up. But if you did it, or you don't have to clean, but can you just pick up like the big piece of the trash? Put it in the back? The back. And this is Liv trying to convince Christian to go outside and pick up the trash and clean up. It's kind of sad that these children have to go to Liv's house and just clean because it's dirty. But what are you going to do? I told myself that today I'm going to clean up after the dirty, funky neighbors. And if they make it a mess again, I'm going to go off on them. So let's all pray that they don't make it a mess because I will go off. Well, Liv did say that she talked to the neighbor and the lady said, okay. So I'm thinking that this lady doesn't care about what Liv is saying and it probably will be a mess. I'm definitely excited to see if Liv will actually go off on somebody or not. We've only seen her talk about going off on people on the internet. Wow. This is so annoying. And of course, that is Liv getting a text message from some man. We don't know who it is yet, but I think I might know who this is. If I was a man, I'll marry you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's a strong type of man, so try to be the mean, honey. That's what I'm saying, like... Whoever is in my future, he's gonna be like superhero status. Like, for real, for real, because it's a lot, you know? I have a lot of haters. Y'all, tell me why people send me these messages like I care. Like, I already told you guys, there's nothing to say to me to make me feel some type of way, so just stop. Like, just knock it off. Like, you end up upsetting yourself. Of course, this live wouldn't be complete without her talking about the perfect man that she wants to be with. And if you don't know what Liv is talking about, she actually posted this on her YouTube. And somebody sent her a really long message, so go ahead and pause. We're talking about witches and <laughs> warlocks. <laughs> talking about I got spirits haunting me. Girl, you mad, huh? I didn't know I made you that man. You got those spirits haunting me, girl. Okay, girl. Whatever floats your boat, babe. Now the email said Christian James, so I was thinking it was a man, but I guess it could be anybody. What do you think about this email that was sent to Liv? Do you know who sent it? And in my opinion, this just gives Liv more attention and more things to talk about. She already thinks she's very important, and this just makes it worse. But they don't stop them from coming into my emails and trying to... Uh, I mean, I guess it's just fandom, you know what I mean? They just want to talk to me, maybe that's what it is. You know, maybe that's what it is, y'all. Maybe that's what it's giving. But this man that's in my future, he has to be very tough, very strong minded, and just. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Why does Liv think the man has to be strong just because she's on social media? And why does she always talk about a man? You already have three baby daddies. And as far as we know, none of them actually want her. Maybe Zobo does now. I don't know. It's kind of a weird relationship. I just came in your live. What are you making? I'm washing bottles. It definitely sounded like she was mixing something in a mixer or something. I look like a hardworking woman. I do my big one. I feel like uh, raising my kids is hard work, especially with all the 
underwear, but you know, it's all good. Liv looks like a hard working woman. Whoever said that must be new. This must be the only live or video they've ever seen of her. I haven't any more kids, you guys. The factory's closed. Unless I meet like the perfect, perfect, perfect man. No. That's the only exception. If he don't, maybe he doesn't have a kid and he wants a baby. Maybe. 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 Maybe, girl. He gotta be the he gotta be the bee's knees, okay? In my opinion, I could see Liv having another child, but right now it does seem like she's obsessed with this whole weight loss thing. This is the first time that she actually lost weight when she said she was going to lose it. And it's probably because of the shots. But let me know what y'all think. Do you think Liv will have another baby? And if you think she will, who do you think it will be by? You brat. You brat. You. Hey, you don't throw don't do that. You're gonna get smacked next time you do that. What's that but you better stop it. No. Oh, I'ma get pick that up. Cause you're the one who, who threw that on the floor. Okay, thank you. Now get up out my kitchen. Get up on my kitchen. Get up on my kitchen. Get up on my kitchen. Get up out of here, bruh. Right now. Out. Get your little tushy out of here. No. Get your little stinky no. tushy out of here. No. Seeing Liv and AJ go back and forth, it's almost cute, but then you realize, oh yeah, that is his mother, not his older sister. But a lot of people think that Liv is stuck in the teenage years mentally, so maybe that's why. The tattoos ruined me. Oh, shucks. Well, then there you go. It's, it's, that's what Iman, Iman, that's what your name is? Let you tell it. I just got a question. Can you get a tattoo when you're pregnant? Because Liv was trying to convince everybody that she was pregnant when she was pregnant with AJ. But then she went and got a tattoo, so it kind of confused a lot of people. So if you know anything about that, let me know in the comments. And that was Liv texting a man. Of course it's a man. We all know it is a man. She actually admitted to not having any friends that were women. So, of course it's a man. I'm telling you, y'all, the toxic baby daddy. That is the thing, for real. Oh my God. I think every woman has one. <sighs> Something about this toxic one, though, bro. So annoying, God. So annoying. So annoying. Yes, let's talk about the toxic baby daddy. And no, Liv is not talking about Gerard this time. You see, for a little while now, Liv has told everybody that Casper, aka Joey, is a toxic baby daddy. She did tell us that this man does talk to her and say, oh, why don't you ask your man for this? Why don't you ask your man for that? Maybe he's kind of jealous, but I just wanna know, how does Joey, aka Casper, feel now that you probably told him that AJ's biological father is now back in your life and trying to be in AJ's life, I think? You see, Liv is the same one that told us that AJ's father, well, when it was Casper, he wanted to fight Zolo because Zolo was trying to claim that AJ might be his. And my baby daddy said, unload it. Unload the clip, baby. Say what you want to say. Because he's sick too. He really want to be your And he could be your too. He's like two of you. You know how you're like five, two and a half? Yeah, he's like six, two. He could be So I would love to know, what does Casper think about this man being back in your life and you talking to him? I would love to see Liv make a whole video on that. His name is Angelo. That's his name. Angelo, baby, Angelo. His name is Angelo. That's my baby's name. 
AKA Angel, AKA AJ, AKA Junior. Junior too, his dad calls him Junior. AKA. What else do we call you, AJ? Bad butt? AKA. Don't listen. AKA. You know what? I just thought about something. AJ's name is Angelo, and Zolo's name is Lorenzo. I wonder if she did that on purpose. Is that what you're learning in that cheerleading stuff? That's a dance. What dance is that? It's a dance. Yes, that was Ryan dancing, and then of course Lib doesn't like it, and she says, "Oh, is that what you learn in that cheerleading stuff?" You know, Liv, maybe if you actually went to her cheerleading practices and her competitions or performances or whatever they do, you wouldn't have to guess and see if that's where she's learning these dance moves. Just a thought. I changed her diaper and I gotta feed her. You wanna feed her? Yeah. Or no? Oh, you wanna feed her, AJ? Yeah. No, no, not AJ. I'm talking to you, baby. Oh, you're gonna play football? Okay. okay, so then y'all can come over here and do that, right? Uh-huh. Okay, cool. And yes, that is Liv talking to Christian. We know it's Christian because Robin, I think she said, is asleep. So we haven't heard from her. But of course she's trying to get Christian to feed Kailani so she can take care of everything else that she has going on. And just like everybody else said, she needs the older children there to help her with the younger children. They don't have present fathers. The only ones that have present fathers are the older three. Oh, and Super good, AJ. Mommy's very proud of you. My baby went poo-poo in the potty all by himself. You look um He's so damn smart. It was a piece of cake. You know, now I just have to really just keep him going in the potty, going in the potty. So I think from now on, I'm but just gonna buy him pull-ups. Only pull-ups. Because he's ready. He's ready to just go in the but potty. It's oh, it's not hot? Okay, here. I'm so proud of AJ. I'm so glad that he's doing it. He is trying to use the bathroom on his own. But of course, Liv still has him on a bottle. So she actually gave him one in that last clip. But hey, at least potty training is going okay. I have like a bunch of you. I have a bunch of you in my room. Like I'm starting Monday, guys. A bunch of new stuff I'm starting implementing on Monday. I'm excited to see what routines Liv will have. I think she definitely needs it. Clearly, she needs a bedtime routine, a daily routine. She needs to get her children on a schedule. It will help her a lot. So she said Monday is the day, so we're just gonna have to wait and see. What's that say? So I put some pine salt and some bleach. I like fabuloso, but I don't know what my fabuloso is. I either use pine salt or fabuloso. I will be careful of mixing chemicals. I did find this on the internet, so go ahead and pause to read, but it can be very toxic if you're mixing bleach with a lot of different cleaners. So if you do do this, just be careful. Look y'all, remember I told you about the, my dirty, my dirty papers, right? And the brooches and the people, I had to call the people to come out here and certain drill holes in the walls, girl, to get the brooches on. Anyway, the, the Terminator dude, whatever, what do you call him? The, the pest control dude that came and did my apartment, he recommended these. Have you guys ever heard of these? I never heard of these. These work. Okay, you put them down everywhere up on These work. These keep them away, along with what I did in the wall. But get you some of these and thank me later, okay? So there you have it. If you have roaches like Liv does, Go ahead and get you some of those. I guess they work. And you do it like every, put the down. Ready. No, get the out here. No. You do this every six months. Every six months. No, and put this down. Okay. Ready. Anyway, and you replace them. You know, you replace them. But anyway, these work. You know, for all the dirty and brushes. Of course, Liv said it's for all the dirty bees with roaches. Clearly, she's including herself in that, right? Um, make sure you subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. So a bad mommy out here doing her thing, period. That was pretty much it for Liv's live. She just cleaned most of the time. The kids are kind of running around. AJ was antagonizing her. She was getting some text messages from her toxic baby daddy. She talked about... Zolo calling AJ Jr. and my question still stands. 
Does he have Zolo's last name or what? But y'all got to let me know what you think about the situation. What do you think about the Web3 being there at her home? What do you think about Zolo and Liv becoming good friends and somehow co-parenting? Do you think Casper did want to beat up Zolo? And how do you think Casper feels now that AJ's biological father is trying to be in his life, I guess? Just let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will definitely see you in the next one. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So you don't have a slight thought he could be your baby daddy. No, I'm 100% sure he's not my baby daddy. Yeah. If you guys are actually in tune with your body and you uh, know who you're screwing, um, you know who your baby fathers are. I don't understand that you don't know who you, I don't understand that life. I don't come from that life. I have three by one man. I have two by another. Yeah, no shade. But um, I don't play all that. Okay.